Good morning. My name is Jennifer. Uh, we're here at Saddleback Hospital, and this is Mike, our patient. We're going to be DCing his art line. Um, what we do first, this is the arterial line. This port of entry is right here at the wrist. We're going to remove this Stabilizer. here as such, mm -hmm. like this. Okay. And you always assess with your patient if there's any numbness or tingling in the fingers and look for edema. Okay, it's a complication of having an art line. You have your art line waveform up here, and usually it's really consistent with your cuff pressure, which is above here. So we're going to, Mike, we're going to pull some tape here. Okay, we're the art pulling line tape is off red, here. and the manual cuff is green. So we're taking off a little bit of tape, holding the skin down as you're pulling up on the tape. You have to be very careful pulling the art line out because it is an arterial line. So make certain that you have it secured. Okay. More often than not, you do have a suture here that is holding the uh, art line in place, but you, you don't really know until you take off the dressing. Mm -hmm. Did you also show me the procedure over here, Jen? Yes, there is a protocol, a hospital protocol for the removal of an arterial line. And so I assume you always want to look up the procedure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to turn our alarms off and down here, and the noise, the volume control, so that the noise is at a minimum. Okay, Mike, here we're going to pull a little tape. Being very careful as you approach. Sometimes there's more tape than others. Be very careful not to pull the tip. Really got this one on good. Okay, there we go. Okay, so hold it here as you pull down. Otherwise, you're going to pull the arterial line out because it is arterial. It's going to bleed quite a bit. Okay, as you're taking this off here, you can see there's not any sutures holding mm -hmm. this in place. So you're really relying strictly on the tape. Because of that, here we go. If you can just might hold your hand right still, just as is, right there. We have a suture removal kit that we're not necessarily going to use now because we don't need it. We have the chloro prep, and we have our alcohol, a two by two, and an occlusive dressing. Okay. So what we're going to do is. Our new protocol indicates that we put on a mask now with the insertion or the removal of any central line. It's the, the central line bundle mm -hmm. that you'll be reading about also in Newsweek. Mm -hmm. I read about that as well. Get ready because you're going to wipe really good with your gloves. Here you just bend. There's a little ampule inside. You bend and squish. Okay. Get everything ready. Putting everything on your sterile field. I'm just opening this up here. I have it ready. Okay, so be right still for me. Moving the old dressing completely. Hands are a little sweaty, they're hard to come on. What you're going to want to do first 
This is saturated already because we broke the ampule. We're going to take alcohol, like the area, a little sting, prior to removing it. Starting at the inside and moving outward. inward once again and moving outward we give this at least 30 seconds now we say after we put this on 30 seconds to dry and that goes with all of our central line removals so first it's alcohol then the white, and you're not supposed to blot it. You just let it sit here. Mm -hmm. Give it 30 seconds. And then with the two by two, we're going to put pressure, and then we're going to pull out the art line. We'll be holding pressure for a minimum of five minutes. Quite often, if your patient's on Plavix or aspirin or Lovenox, um, the tendency to bleed is higher. So what you want to do is a minimum of five minutes or until hemostasis. Okay. Taking this here, we're going to hold it inch and a half above the actual site, okay, with pressure. So we're on the site with my middle finger, and then what I'm going to do is move it up like that so we have pressure like an inch and a half to two inches above the actual entry site of the art line. By putting pressure there, we're minimizing the, the flow, okay? so. I have my hands there, and now we're simply going to take this out. One, two, and before you pull, make sure your stop cock is off, <laughs> <laughs> or else you will have a mess. You can turn it just a little bit there. Okay, so now that that's off, pull it out. One, two, and three. And that's all there is to that. Now let's see the catheter. We look at the tip. Yep, and you always make sure that your tip is 100% um, intact. And there shouldn't be a clot on the end as well. It should come out just as is, mm -hmm. right like that. Very good. Mm -hmm. And that goes with any uh, mm -hmm. any of your central lines. Always look at the tip. Just get in a natural habit of checking the tip. And if you were to need to do um, a tip culture, if you suspected infection, what you would need here are sterile scissors. And quite often it's nice to have another nurse here. So you could actually put it here. And as soon as you take it out, as close as the patient as you can. She'll have the sterile cut, the other nurse, and then she cuts the tip with sterile mm -hmm. scissors and you just close the cap. Right. It's really hard to do a sterile tip by yourself. Mm -hmm. You can, but preferably it's with another nurse. It's just easier. Okay. Very good. So now you'll hold that for another four minutes or until he stops bleeding, until you reach homeostasis. Very good. Correct. Uh -huh. We watched that go in yesterday. Now we watched it go out. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you're keeping an eye on the digits, the fingers, just mm -hmm. to make sure they have good coloration. And you can move his fingers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. CMS check before and after. Very mm -hmm. good. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. It's been a minimum of five minutes and we look under our dressing. It has completely stopped. Okay. Continue to apply a little bit of pressure here. It's called a pressure dressing. Very minimal pressure. And then we'll put an occlusive dressing over the top. This just ensures because it's arterial that no air actually gets in. So it's uh, over the top, just a little bit of pressure. Sometimes you can roll the two by two just a little bit. Uh, it'll actually, they, then they refer to it more as a butterfly. And the edges of your tape, you have a little fold over here in the corner so you can actually take it off pretty easy. There you go. This way you ensure that no air gets into your arterial line. Very good. And that's it. Thanks.